when I was young, Mr. Joe Estacio. Yeah. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Hey. San Francisco, it's wonderful to be here. It inspired me to write this book with my kids during the pandemic. Um, when we were, uh, when I was reading to them, we ran out of books. And they told me, they asked me to tell them some stories about my childhood. And I, the phrase, when I was young, when I was young, when I was young, kept coming up. So this book will inspire you, if, if you, if you when you read this, to come up, to come up with stories of your own that when you, when you were young. Because that's, that's what happened when I, was, when I was reading to my kids. They wanted to know when I was young, what happened, what, what, what was the world like when I was young. Before Wi-Fi, cell phones, and even before arcades, my book, When I Was Young, takes a nostalgic look at our world when I was a young, wide-eyed boy growing up in Brooklyn, New York. Sometimes I don't recognize the great country that we exist in anymore. Be inspired to change our world by looking back and see what we had and strive to find again through prayers and hope that, the, that God, hear, God will hear us. My book is available on Amazon and at Barnes and Noble, or you can also just scan the uh, cue card when I give it to you. So I'm going to read from my book, uh, and this is a uh, this is what I came up with. It's my my uh, my debut book. I love it, and I'm very proud of it. So yay! yay. Yes. It's a light-hearted book, and it's it's in po it's in a rhyme, but it also has a deeper message to it. So here we go. When I was young, by Joe Estacio. When I was young, we'd go outside and play with our friends after school and on weekends. In the summer, after supper, before it got dark, we'd ride bikes and climb jungle gyms and trees at the park. When I was young, we'd walk to school with classmates, peers, and neighbors, including the ones with tails and fur, as a treat for the love and favors. We'd hurry with bags of books in tow, walking hills high and low, under hot sun, which was not fun, through stormy, windy rain, at times in horrible pain. We had to go, bravely go even on frigid morns of ice and snow. When I was young, we could walk in our neighborhoods alone and carefree. We could cross the streets together or by ourselves, safely. We'd look left, right, and left, and then do it all over again, backward, at the school day's end. When I was young, we'd have so much fun shopping at the malls feeling, looking at, and trying on clothes. We'd explore for hours and hours and play with toys. We'd check out with our huge eyes the food court and many candy stores. At the supermarkets, we'd scatter and hunt for each of our favorites. We would fill mom's cart to the brim with milk, juice, cereal, fruits, and all. The peanut butter was always too high. We'd race to catch the jars as they fall. The aisles were always so busy, as if we were stuck in traffic. We never had a thought to panic, or be frightened, or run, frantic, or be really quiet, and hide in a stall. When I was young, we'd walk to the laundromat, my three sisters and me, with mom ahead by two, three, or three, three, we pushed a cart full of clothes through the streets once a week and slowly, with a jar full of quarters, detergent, softener, and bleach. In our hands, we kept carry a container each. When I was young, we'd eat supper all together. At six o'clock on the dot, we'd help set the table while the food was hot, with plates, glasses, spoons, and forks. On Tuesdays, of course, was mom's luscious adobo with sitao and pork. Our favorite meals on Sundays was dad's spaghetti and meatballs. I remember the pungent, hearty, and fragrant smell. We all knew it well. Oh my, how it magically calls. 
Afterward, we'd help with cleanup all together. We would wipe the table, wash all the dishes, and discard chicken bones and heads and fishes. We'd sweep and mop the floor from wall to door. Yes, the four of us kids helped without a bother, even without the help of mother and father. When I was young, we'd buy ice cream on the street. We would scatter to find money without a beat. Each time we'd hear the truck coming, we would all cheer and start humming. Bellies in a flurry, come on, hurry, hurry. No time to waste. I couldn't wait to taste my favorite brain-freezing treats. When I was young, we would attend mass at St. Patrick's all together, on clear eaves in an inclement weather. In our coats, warm and hearty, indeed, we dared not be tardy. We'd sing and kneel and pray, asking him for blessings every day. We'd sit still and silent, whispering our prayers and hearing cries of repent. When I was young, my dad taught us all to pray, to calm us down at the end of the day. In our room, we, with mom, by our bunk beds, we'd release all the fuss in our heads. With eyes closed and hands clasped tightly together, we would recite our Father, three Hail Marys, and glory be. And then, we would all sleep soundly and free. Well, yeah! This took me, um, I started working on January, uh, I think the 20th, I think it was believed after President Biden's inauguration. I was inspired by the, uh, the poet, Amanda Gorman, when she, when she wrote her poem, and I thought, man, I could write a poem. And it, started, it started out, it started out as, as a poem, and it turned out to be a story. My kids loved it. They said, you should, you should see what you can make, make it into a book, if you can see things. And, illustrations and stuff and pictures that would, would help. So it evolved, I, it evolved into uh, something more than I thought what it would be. So it was, just, it, was just a, it was just a simple poem and then it became my story. I, my next book I, I believe is going to be my, when my mom immigrated here and started us to start living here in the United States and immigrated as well. So I want to give that, give that to her. Wow. And that be children's book? Um, it'll be uh, not quite children's. It'll be more like um, a teen, more a little bit more older. But it'll have some some illustrations, but more of a of a biographical kind of thing. Thank you, Reader's Magnet, for having me. All right. All right.